peace, love, life, and solidarity upon your journey. I just was talking about what the Honorable Minister Louis de Farrakhan, what he said in his lecture. He said, when you see a man fall, don't laugh, but learn. Because he is on his way up. But due to people not understanding that it was something that's bigger than what's outside on the surface and things that they could see with their physical senses and not realizing and tapping in with their spirit that this man is on his way up because he's tapping into the high being within. He's tapping into the high frequency that's within. That's why he's going through hell because he's battling what kind of energy, what kind of frequency, and what kind of vibration that's consistent within his environment or what the universe is receiving onto him. Because every time we say I'm going to be this person or that person, you receive term oil in hell. But due to you having the understanding of it's something greater within me, the determination that's within, it will push past all of that. That's why you're supposed to never really kill any man or woman if you see them struggling. If you see them struggling, don't ridicule them. Help them. We, we post to, as individuals or human beings or whatever you want to call yourself, black, African-American, African, indigenous, whatever it may be, if you see any person that's struggling as them elevating in life, do not ever laugh at them. But if you're not consciously aware of them actually struggling because they're trying to get to point A to point B, and you just laughing because you think the shit is funny because you see someone falling. Your ass, you will fall for the same shit. Because due to you having a lack of understanding, just like with the Honorable Minister Louis the Farrakhan when he stated, this is something I truly realized. That's why I can't laugh at no man or no woman once I see them struggling and shit like that. As far as them trying to graduate in life because it's hell, it's turmoil. You. It's hell already waiting for you because you, anytime we say I am and I want to become this person, your ass will have multiple obstacles in life because God is like, or the inner being that's tapping in, you tapping in with, it'll be like, all right, you say you want this, right? So I'm going to put multiple obstacles in front of you to see how bad you really want it. <laughs> and many of us, we don't get to that individual. We don't get to that inner being. Why? Because we only think for ourselves. We're going to think all about ourselves, what our spirit is telling us, what is, what are, you know, our thoughts telling us and everything. And until you have a bigger purpose than yourself in life, that's when you can push past everything. Anytime we're neck upon something day by day, you got to think to yourself, how can I make this person's life better? How can I make this person's life, you know, more, uh, 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 more enlightened and everything? Because it's people that's really need that inspiration, that enlightenment and everything. You know, and this is something that I realized once I gained the understanding that my dream is not for me I started behaving different. I started acting different. That's why I call it a paradigm shift and everything because <clears throat> Once you understand that our ancestors died, it was never for them. Once you understand that Malcolm X died, it was never for him. Once you understand that Dr. King died, it was never for him. Once you understand that Muammar Gaddafi, when he died, it was never for him. They enacted upon a vision that was bigger and beyond them. And once they enacted upon a vision and that was bigger beyond them, they knew what the consequences were. But they realized that this is a reality set for the next generation. So I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure they have a different reality than for me. Until we gain that certain kind of perspective of why we do certain things and all of us come together, we organize and plan because we cannot do shit without organization. Organization is the key, is the escapism. There is no other escapes, escapism besides organization. How the hell we gonna talk about black supermarkets we need to build, black hospitals, black stores, all of this shit without organization. Organization is sacred. This is very important. But back to what I was saying, I'm just speaking from experience, brothers and sisters. We supposed to never ridicule anyone who's going through term oil as they on the path of development or elevation or tapping into the higher inner being with them because it's truly a battle. Battling with the inner self is truly a battle, brothers and sisters. It's a battle for you to actually, you know, try to defeat or conquer or spiritually bury the individual that you were in the past. Because many people that's holding on things from the past, and once they have a little piece of motivation, it's their mind that travel and wander and everything. And, and you know how powerful your thoughts are. 
Anytime we don't have positive thoughts or you don't have healthy thoughts, it'll affect how you feel emotionally. It'll affect your spirit and everything. So it's not until <clears throat> you tap in, man. But peace, love, and life onto you, brother Jalen. Queen left, goddess uh, 78, sugar booty brie. Says you need to change that name. <laughs> Since you gotta change that name. Since you gotta change that name. Since you gotta change that name, my sister. <laughs> Black Unity Matters, man. This is why I'm for though, man. Black Unity Matters, though, man. Because this shit really matters, though, man. I don't give a fuck what song come out. I don't give a fuck what document. I don't care what the fuck, what movie comes out. Black Unity Matters, motherfucker. But yeah, for real though, it really does matter though, man. When I came up with this concept, Black Unity Matters, this is about the family that's overcoming the odds of economic exploitation and oppression with unity because you can knock upon each goal as far as you organize and you knock upon and you execute them each and every day. That is what Black Unity Matters is. What perfect way for you to, you know, celebrate Black History Month than purchasing a Black Unity Matters hoodie or a t-shirt. But on that note, I say peace, love, life, and solidarity upon your journey. Sorry about that, brother. Just sister. I was kind of all over everywhere today because my mind is like scrambled eggs and everything. But don't worry. I just got to go out in the universe. In the universe, it could deliver me or heal me from any and everything as far as me expressing what the hell I'm going through because that is truly my therapy. Indeed. Peace, love, life. Thank you.